Hi, I am Yvette Kaiser-Smith. For the most part, I am a, an artist who uses numbers. Um, I make wall-based abstract geometric abstractions um, that utilize the numbers pi and E grids and simple geometric shapes um, in order to create systems to visualize or map the values, numerical values. Um, that aside, for a long time, I did this, expressed this by using fiberglass, I used to crochet fiberglass. And about three and a half years ago, I was introduced to a laser cutter. And then I started getting obsessed with the laser cutter. Um, and I began an exploration in um, laser cut acrylic pieces that are stacked, separated, shallow, shallow stacks separated by spacers. Um, I have a great studio, but it doesn't have a laser cutter. So doing the drive from my studio to the makerspace that has the laser cutter, I got stuck in traffic a lot, took a lot of pictures of Chicago. And one of the routes that I took a lot was driving under Green Line on Lake Street. I got obsessed with Lake Street. And after about, I don't know, posting, after about 500 photos, posting a few in, on uh, social media, a friend invited me to be part of a show with three other photographers, which was intimidating because I always thought of myself as a sculptor. Um, not necessarily a photographer, Did, wasn't sure what to do. But um, at the same time, I was developing a body of work using laser cut acrylic, and I eventually came to this idea of um, sort of making large slides. A project that was supposed to be about uh, 12 pictures ended up with 32, and uh, this is one of them. The, the piece in, the, in this sculpture show is probably the most three-dimensional wall-based piece. It is printed on, it's just a cell phone shot, uh, printed on, what is that called? Transparency film, um, and sort of pushed, pushed away from the wall, um, hoping to engage the projection of the image onto the wall and also the light coming through the transparent acrylic and you know sort of mimicking what's going on with that with the rhythm within the image and uh, although it was supposed to be a one-off thing in the photography um, it is now part of my toolbox so images of what I don't know will eventually make their way into the geometric work